Okay, everybody, this is B, and today is gonna be the month of favorites for December. Boom. And today, I have first item of the month is this book, Elders, by Ryan McLean. I probably said it wrong in my video, my book review for it, but that's a okay. Stuff happens, life happens, it happens. Um, so that's that. That's the book of the month. So the video for it should be up. So you can go check it out. That video out of my review for the book. Next is, it's a little watered down. A Thousand Wishes Body Cream. It is soft. It smells great. Um, I can't fully describe the smell of the Thousand Wishes, but it smells good. Um. I didn't try the perfume. I just have the lotion because it was like a Christmas gift or birthday gift, whatever. So, yeah, I decided to find to use it, and I like it. And it makes my skin so soft and soft and just not dry. It's very moisturizing, and I smell good. So, even after a long day and I work and I'm sweaty and my skin smells so good, which is good because I don't like smelling smelly. So... Yeah, check it out, peeps. Um, next is the Japanese cherry blossom, which was also a Christmas gift. It smells amazing. And girl, if you can see, there is glitter. You didn't have too much of spray in your arm, just glitter all over. So I had people question if I went somewhere that I was not supposed to be. But you know what? I didn't. It was just a spray. So if ladies, you're looking for that kind of look. And smells good. Boom, check a lock up. Japanese cherry blossom. Next, I also got a Christmas gift. It is the Winky Lux Kitten Palette by Boxy Charm. Um, I never seen this palette before until I got it. Um, inspired by the lovely velvety feel of our feline friends, these ultraviolet soft shadows glide on like a dream. The versatile flattering collection of shades makes this palette palette is lovely as a kitten. The kitten palettes also featured high pigmented shadows, four finishes, holographic, matte, satin, and glitter. Um, it, let me tell you, it does come out like a dream. You just don't even know Felicia's. Um, there, the, here's the name of the colors. Purr, Duchess, Strut, Holographic, Nine Lives, Cat Eye, Romeo, Cashmere, and Boots. Boom. Um, I will do a swatch test for you real quick. Because, you know, we can't just, like, show makeup without any swatches. Like, it's no, that's no good. Okay, the first one I'm going to swatch is Purr. Um, here's the palette. Boom. I'm going to swatch Purr. And it's kind of like a, uh, you can't probably see it, but it's like a light peachy, like light baby pink, but not fully baby pink, if that makes any sense. Um, yeah, that's what it is. Um, Duchess is next, which is this next color right here. Oops, I can't even do, I can't even do this. I'm not multi-talented. Sorry, but yeah, this one. Swatch it. And it's, you can't hardly see it, but it's like a light color. Um, it would be good to like put on like before your makeup and just gives it a good like highlight basically. Next is Strut, which is right next to the, it would be the top, be your right hand corner if you looked at the screen. And it, it's right there. You can see it's like that light brownish earthy tan that strut next is holographic which is the first on the second row which I have used holographic before and you can't hardly see it but it's it's very light and it does have a holographic tone to it next is nine lives and on the palette like in the palette it looks like a dark bluish gray but if you look on my hand right here on my wrist it is like 
a burnt gray. So, but my next one favorite is Cat Eye, which is on the second row furthest to the right on the camera. And, girl, you just don't even know what you're missing right here. See this? Gorgeous. And I absolutely love it on my eye. It's very pigmented, and I like that. Uh, next is Romeo. I haven't swatted Romeo, so this would be the first time I ever, well, I swallowed them, but it would be the bottom left of the palette. Um, it's that one right there. I, I don't know, like, it's like, it has to be one of those I have to really test out on my face. Uh, next is cashmere. I haven't really messed with this on my makeup. It'll be the middle, sorry for my terrible camera skills, the middle of the bottom row. It looks like a like a purplish uh, red, and it kind of is. It's kind of like a maroon. It's like right here. I don't know if you can see it, but my terrible, but it's kind of like a burnt purple. Um, that's the best way to explain it put this on my hands because it's the last one is boots and it's kind of now a brown shade um but yeah it's a really good if you realize like a little bling but also kind of like a neutral that's kind of basically what this would be good for and my hands all here's my hand yeah um I'm gonna do better with this but anyway that's that then I've got this, which is a cheap little makeup hair, face cleaner. Got at uh, Five and Below, which is like a uh, store where it's like everything, the max you pay is $5 or anything below that. But you gotta pay taxes, of course. But that's besides the point. That's what I got it from. Then next is the Maybelline Dream Cushion Fresh Face in the tone Porcelain, which says 10. I love this baby. It, like, when you put it on, it's smooth like a dream. It, in a way, sorry for the unsexy, uh, little position you got, but it is what it is. What I like about this, it's got a mirror. It's got your cushion. Then, of course, you've got this. And then, if you'll let me, sorry if it's not sexy for you. Then it's got that. Um, but it does. It applies like a dream. And it's very, very light. It doesn't feel like it's like 10,000 pounds on your skin. Which, there are some people who like that. But I don't like foundation that feels like you have like a ton of bricks on your face. So, yeah. And I want something that's breathable. So, basically, it doesn't feel like I wear in foundation at all. Which I like. Um, how I found out about this is because of the YouTube Edward Avilia. So he's much into cushions and I was really hesitant about trying cushions because I'm just that's a lot of money. Well it's a lot of money for makeup anyway but if I know it's good then it's whatever. Um, and I wear it all day so I can I can walk to work and it's still be in place even with my setting spray or if I don't walk to work it's still on my face I have enough to come home from work so it works. Next is another Christmas gift by Jaleep. I uh, don't know where you can get this. Probably they have an online store. Um, the color is Judy Bahamian Glam. Very breathable um, on your feet. So it's, it's does what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to be breathable on your feet and just so on and so forth. So basically it's supposed to be better like for your toenails or fingernails. Whatever you, you want to use it for. But I use it on my toes. And it lasted pretty decent. So it, it's a good quality item. Next is a pair of clothing. I'm trying to show you. It is second skin. Um, it's like a compression shirt. And I like about it is, unlike a lot of compression shirts, it's got ventilation in the armpits. And it's one of those you'll get, I got hot in it, but then I cooled out. Like it helps with the hotness and coolness. So your temperature is regulated. Um, you might feel hotness, like, for you first minute or two, like, well, and see, I, after work, I have to wear something underneath for, if I wear compression tops. So, yeah. So, it, it does. You may not get hot in it, but there's men and women's sizes. Um, take in mind, you might have to go size up. 
Um, luckily, I don't have to go and size up with men's. It just happened to fall. Um, if I got any, like a medium, I'd probably have been too small. But I am losing weight, so maybe eventually it'll get too big for me. But who, we'll see. Um, and then that's really it for it comes to like physical items. Um, when it comes to movies, Daddy's Not Home too. I personally went to see in the theaters. I thought it was pretty funny. I mean, yeah, you always love the first one, but the I thought the the second one was more funny. It had more of a whole well, more of a story. Well, there's more people to the story, but it was just you. If you're not laughing, you're laughing, or I mean, you're you're laughing, but then you're crying, but then you're crying and laughing. So it went back and forth. So it, it was pretty good. Um, as of with music, I most listen to Christmas music. Uh, honestly, in December, it's all about that music and Christmas and then TV shows. The only thing I had with TV shows was, you know, Christmas movies. So, I really didn't have much of a television. Um, sorry about that. It's just, when it comes to, like, holidays, like, stuff like that, like, Christmas and stuff like that, I'm all about them Christmas. Like, even though I'm one of those, I'm one of those people, I can listen to Christmas music all year round. But when it comes around Christmas time, oh, I get Super happy. I'm one of those. I walk into work if I need to. And if I could, I will dress up as a Christmas character. Whether it be Elf, would be a reindeer, would be even Mrs. Claus. I don't care. But I can't do that. So, it is what it is. And of course, you know, the craziness of Christmas shopping. Like, that was fun. Um, yeah, work was busy from everybody Christmas shopping and just last minute things and it was fun. I, I really enjoyed it. Um but yeah, if you're interested in like a lot of these products, I will give in information. Um if I know where that you can get it at, I will list it in the description box. Um, anyway, thank you for tuning in, and if you want to follow me in other social medias, of course, I'm going to link you the information. Um, but yeah, thank you for tuning in and for your patience. Patience is a virtue. Remember that. But anyway, thank you, and everyone have a good day. Toodles!